أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما ربنا زدنا علما ربنا زدنا علما اللهم وفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My dear brothers and sisters here, how are you all? Kindly make use of the chat box Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah dear sisters here Alhamdulillah Barakallahu fiki Alhamdulillah, I'm good as well. Bismillah. Okay, we are into the dates two of this video editing course, right, dear sisters and brothers? Alhamdulillah. So we had learned so much in yesterday's class. We had learned what did we learn in yesterday's class? Can you all just give me a quick recap before we start? Inshallah. We learn to edit something in an Islamic way, right? We learn to we learn to start this course with an in an Islamic way, right? How we are going to just give it a touch so that we are going to earn rewards through this course. So we are we are we are learning, we are learning through this, we are going through this course by gaining rewards, inshallah. So I want you all to just rectify your intention before we, we, we begin. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Anything and everything. Please start with the name of Allah so that Allah puts barakah in your time and your efforts and your skills, inshallah. The skill that you are learning is not a, uh, is not just a skill. It is the skill that you are going to utilize for the sake of Allah, inshallah. So make an intention, make an iyah that you are going to use the skill, use this talent for the sake of Allah. And also through this, you can earn risk for halal, which is also means of rewards for you all. Right, dear sisters and brothers? Okay, alhamdulillah, with this spirit of of learning something for the sake of Allah, doing something for the sake of Allah, and earning rewards through this. Let's continue through this course, the day second of this course. Let's continue to be, uh, let's continue to learn something to be more productive with a smartphone, inshallah. So, alhamdulillah, we are into the day second of this course a quick recap on whatever we had learned in yesterday's class what did we study in yesterday's class can can you all boom your chat box with the messages of the lesson recap inshallah what did we all study in yesterday's class it was nothing but we learned how to edit we learned how what is video editing we learned what is its scope what is the future in video editing we learned what are the opportunities after the completion of this course we we also learned some of the course details we also went through some of the course details and also what will you learn in the next 16 days okay Okay, we had seen the software download, right, dear sisters and brothers? I hope you all have downloaded this software. Uh, kindly type yes if you all have your kind master ready in your cell phones. Yes? Alhamdulillah. So Alhamdulillah, I have provided you all with a mod version of this kind master application. And Alhamdulillah, uh, most of you have downloaded it. Very good. Barakallahu fiki. Alhamdulillah. So in yesterday's class, we were learning how to install it. And also we have seen the first interface, right? The software interface. So Alhamdulillah, so I want you all to make sure that you all have downloaded this software and also installed this, okay? So keep it ready, keep it open for the class, fine? So what did we learn in yesterday's class is nothing but it was a workspace of the kind master. Do you all remember what was the workspace of the kind master? We just learned something called as a home and mix, okay? From the home and mix, we just had templates that we can work on, right? And then we learned something to create a project, right? We just started off with a test project and there we had the aspect ratio and also some of advanced options. What is an aspect ratio, dear sisters and brothers? Can you please recap? Can you please give me a re quick recap on whatever we uh, learned about aspect ratio? It is nothing but it is the dimensions of the video that you're designing. Yes, yes, size of the dimension. How can you choose this aspect ratio? It is totally dependent upon the purpose where you are going to post this. Purpose and also the platform where you're going to post the, post the video, correct? So Alhamdulillah, we had seen all of these aspect ratios. Yes or no? What is 16 is to 9 for? Can you all repeat and tell me what is it 16 is to 9 for? 
Okay, I have I have just summed up everything, whatever I had, uh, said to you in the previous class. It's all on the slides. You can just read it out or come on, go through all of this. What is 16 is to 9 for Excel and it is for the YouTube video. It is YouTube standard videos and also many platforms like Facebook and more. You will be, give, you will be have, you can post uh, the content of 16 is to 9 as well. It is the landscape mode. Find the, for, for example, the filmy mode, all of it will be in the landscape. I mean, uh, it is uh, enlarged in the landscape, the wedding videos as well. Yes, dear sisters. Okay, then there is a 9 needs to 16 it is vertical videos and your it is suitable for all of the instagram stories whatsapp stories the tiktok majorly the tiktok is, uh, uh, standard is this one right so one is to one is the square aspect ratio and also it is used for the often used for the instagram videos fine right? instagram videos one is to one is used yes it can be the real you know i prefer i prefer one is to one ratio you know i always prefer one is to one ratio because i can Post it, as, post it as a shorts on the YouTube as well as I can post it as, on the, as the reels on the Instagram. And also on the WhatsApp, it looks great to go with. So it's, it's kind of square aspect ratio. For example, this is not a square that I'm having, that I'm presenting right now. Hope you all are holding your cell phones in the landscape pattern. If you're, uh, if you're, in, if you're uh, taking my class on the cell phones, then I hope you all are holding it in the landscape pattern. Can you tell me what is this uh, aspect ratio that my slides are? This is presentation slide that I take. It is 4 is to 3 ratio, okay? This is what I wanted to tell you. This is a 4 is to 3 pattern and it is presentation slides, okay? One part of the entire screen is missing here, right? Okay, alhamdulillah. Then what is 3 is to 4? This itself, this screen itself, when you are just holling it in the portrait ma manner, then that will be uh, four, 3 is to 4, fine? So this is for the YouTube shorts. You can take YouTube shorts, you can take, and also you can take it for the Instagram shorts, also Instagram reels, also portrait videos. You can just, it is best for the mobile viewing, fine? So mobile viewing, this is best. And also the portrait content 4 is to 5 is also the Instagram reels. You can just go through all of this and you can make the you know, perfect reels and shots, fine? Now, the, what is 2.35 is to 1 for? What is this for, dear sisters and brothers? It is the most widescreen content, right? It is for the cinema industry, film, film, filmmaking and more. This, this one is used, fine, for the cinematic uh, concerns, okay? You can just make use of 2.35 is to 1 if you're going to make a movie through this, okay? Okay, inshallah. So, alhamdulillah, this was nothing but a quick lesson recap that I would just wanted to give you all so that whoever has joined uh, lately, you can just uh, go through whatever we had studied in this today's class. So, for today's class, we are going to start off with some of the uh, beautiful topics, inshallah. You're going to some, uh, learn something major today, okay? So, so come on, uh, let's start off uh, with Bismillah Rahman Rahim. We are going to start with the workspace of the kind master. Before we begin, I would just want to tell you all, you have to be prepared with two devices. If you do not have two devices, one device is sufficient, but uh, you have to take down everything and then you have to do it after the class because the class, you have to follow my screen long, dear sisters and brothers. Only then you will be able to understand what I'm doing, fine? So please follow my screen along. Uh, you, you do not have to just minimize the screen and then uh, do it, okay? Because it won't give you that, um, uh, that idea what 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 we are doing in the class fine so very important thing you need to have two devices fine inshallah if you do not have two devices then please take down everything in the notes so one important thing dear sisters and brothers practice 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 in the class practice after the class because this is the skill that you are learning without practice you cannot gain the perfection you cannot gain the pro level fine the uh, the pro edits you cannot do it professionally Okay, when you are not practicing this out, fine. So whatever I'm doing in the class, please practice it, fine. Inshallah. So quick uh, screen sharing. Let me just go to the uh, screen sharing. Come on. Uh, I want you all to be ready with your kind master open. Have you all opened your kind master? Come on, type yes. Yes. Let it be an interactive session, dear sisters and brothers here. Inshallah. Okay, alhamdulillah. Okay. So I hope you all have downloaded the Kind Master. And if it's not downloaded yet, please just ping me. I will help you out with that. Fine. Please just message me, text me out. Please text me out. Inshallah, I'll help you out with that. Fine. So now, inshallah, we're just going to see some of the major concepts today. We are going to see something called as. Okay. Uh, if you have done, joined today, dear sisters or brothers here, kindly, kindly, uh, uh, kindly just ping me. I'll send you the previous recordings, inshallah. Fine. So, alhamdulillah. This is the kind master for you. Just open the application. Hope you all have kept this kind master open uh, for the class now, right? Okay, alhamdulillah. 
So how to create the project? You just have to click on the create new button. Yes, and type a project name. Come on, type a project name. Do it along with media sisters and brothers. Type a project name, let it be a test project or something like that. So let this be a test project, done. Select any ratio, okay? For now, let me select the one is to one ratio because I say it is my personal favorite. You can select whichever you want, fine? Come on, select the aspect ratio. So this is the create button. When you click on the create button, this screen appears, right? Okay, Alhamdulillah. Then something called as a media browser appears. Now let me just close this thing. I want to show you everything about the Kind Master. So this is called as a workspace of the Kind Master, dear sisters and brothers here. Okay, this is called as a workspace of the kind master. Kindly note few of the terms that I'm telling you now because these are very important because I'm going to use the same terms throughout the course, fine? Please, please take a note about it. Make a note about this, okay? Uh, 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 now, please shift your uh, shift your concentration from your, uh, from your kind master to the screen that I'm sharing now, fine? Uh, move back to the class. Uh, I want you all to just note down the very important points from that, that I'm going to share now, fine? So this is the workspace of the kind master and this is called as a timestamp, okay? We're going to use the same same wordings every time, fine? Remember this, this line that we have is the red line that we have here. It is called as a timestamp, fine? We're calling this timestamp throughout the course, fine? Whenever I tell you just move your timestamp, you have to move it, fine? So this is important terms. I'm going to just tell you everything about the workspace now. So please concentrate and listen. This is the timestamp that we have. And this is very important. This is something very important. Whenever you're going to arrange the clips, whenever you're going to uh, just reorder the clips, this timestamp will be very essential, okay? You are. You might be thinking, oh, probably if I do not use this kind master application, if I use something on the PC or some, some other video, editor then probably this this things won't won't be there these things will be there dear sisters and brothers okay even if you're do, going for the advanced level video editing on the on the on the laptops or the or pcs even then you will you will be having all of these things okay all of these things okay this is the timeline that is there this is the heart of the video editing software this is very important this is called the timeline and you will find it in every video editing software every video editing software take it from me like the splice the video editors on the app store the video editors on the uh, on any of this uh, like the render forest like um, filmora and more all of the video editors that that you take the timeline will be available without timeline this won't do that they won't work fine so the timeline will be available so just remember some of the important key concepts that i'm telling you telling you now so this this thing that is here it is time Timeline, fine. Even if you're going for the uh, PC or something like that, in that even there you have the uh, advanced software with the timeline and more, fine. So next, this is the timestamp. The red line, uh, this is called as a timestamp, fine. So remember this very important aspect, the first aspect. Okay, now this is nothing but the video window. It is with the aspect ratio that you have assigned. It is with the aspect ratio that you have assigned. Just a moment. Okay. Okay, this is the aspect ratio with which 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 you have assigned. Okay, for example, I have assigned one is to one aspect ratio. So this video is with the aspect ratio that we have assigned. So this is a one is to one aspect ratio. It shows you with the landscape pattern. Whenever you are holding your mobile phone, cell phone in the portrait mode or the landscape mode, this is the position uh, your video will carry on the landscape mode. So this is the one is to one uh, screen that you have. Fine. This is one is to one. So this is an important thing. This is called as a video window. Okay, remember this, this is a video window. And you have something called as an enlarge button. If you want to enlarge the screen and look into it, you just can click on that and enlarge it. Come on, try it out. Try all of this out now. Come on, this is an enlarge button, fine? So the next thing I want to share with you all, this is the, this thing that is here on the left most, it is called as a control bar, okay? We're going to call this as a control bar throughout, fine? Remember, this is called as a control board bar, and this is the video window that we have. This is the enlarge button. You are going to tell me everything at, at the lesson recap, fine? This is the timeline. Okay, these are the terms that you have to remember because this will be used even if you are going to step on any different video editor as well, okay? So this is a timestamp and this thing that you have here, it is the key point of every video editing app. From here, you're going to extract and we are going to add up everything. So this is called as 
media circle okay this is the media circle that we say fine this is a media circle and there is something a store here there's a store here and this is called as an asset store please remember this terms you, you, i'll repeat it often in the class you will get used to it these terms but you have to remember for now okay this is called as an asset store or asset marketplace and here there is a play button i'll just clear everything down this is the play button okay do not worry this everything will be shared at the end of the at end of the class okay all of the lesson uh, during the lesson recap i'll share everything okay this is a play button fine okay this is the media circle and this here is an export button yes sisters and brothers this is an export button you will be having all of these tool, tools in any of the video editing app that you're going to uh, look into in the future or uh, this is the the video editing app that i prefer you all to use fine so here we have just gone through everything. This is the control bar that I have told you. And this is the back button. If you do not want this project, you just can uh, click on the back button and move back, fine. So one more thing, how to save the projects is nothing but if you just click on the back, back button, your projects will be saved as such, fine. So for now, how to import, how to import, the first point we are going to discuss today is how to import the videos on the timeline, how to import the videos. Okay, the first thing, the concepts, please, uh, please uh, just remember all of the concepts that I'm sharing. The first thing we learned here was everything about the workspace. Where is the control bar? On the left most. Where is the media circle? This is the control bar that we say. This is the media circle. This is the timeline. And this is the tam timestamp. This is the enlarge button. This is the um, asset marketplace. This is the play button. And then we have an export button here. And also this is the control bar. Fine. So come on, dear sisters and brothers. Now we are just going to import a video on our timeline. How to import it? Just click on the media circles. Come on, click on the media circle. Now, if you want to put that video on the timeline, you just have to go and click on that video that you want to put it on the timeline. For example, let me just put this video on my timeline. Click on that video and click OK. Fine, now it's ready to be watched on the timeline. I'll just close this up. See here, this video is on the timeline now. Okay, if you want, you can play it and see. How to play it and see? Just, you have to click on this play button, okay? Now, this timestamp, just I want you all to work now with your timestamp. Work with your timestamp. How should you just move your timestamp and see? Just move the timestamp and see how is it working, fine? This, you have inserted this video on the timeline. Now, just move it, move it around. See, move it, move it, just move it. How are you going to move it? With your fingers, dear sisters, okay? This is very easy to use software. You're doing it with your fingertip, dear sisters and brothers. So this is very easy to use. Uh, take it from me. I have tried most of the applications on the PCs and more. But these applications give you a different feeling. Okay. You're just going doing with your fingertips. And this is very easy to go with, dear sisters and brothers. So I want you all to just go through this software that you have. Uh, this software, inshallah. Uh, so that you will develop a beautiful uh, editing, inshallah, in the future. Fine. So I want you all to just... Move, move your fingers through this app. Okay, just move this. Move this timestamp. Move this time timestamp time and see how is this working. It shows you. It shows you at what second. At what second is the video there? It, at what second is the photo there and something like that okay so this timestamp shows you where, where is the at what seconds we are in for example now when i'm stopping on the three second it shows you you are in the 3.58 second of this video okay so this timestamp is very very essential move through this and please see because this is very important thing that will you that you will encounter in this application fine okay now this is the video that i've edited your sisters and brothers okay so i'm just going through this video See here, how to go through this video, fine? Have you, I hope you all understood how to go through the video. Now, if I tell you, just stop at the 15th second, move your move your finger through through this time timeline, fine? Move your fingers till the 15th second. Now go to the 15th second and see, okay, you are standing in the 15th second of this video, okay? Now, you do not want to select this video. Now this video is selected with the yellow button. See here, you just have to click on the timeline. See, now the video is deselected, fine? Okay, select and deselect. Have you all understood the select and deselect button? How to just select this, the yellow thing appears and the advanced editing tools will appear when you select this, okay? So how to deselect that? Click on anywhere, click here on the timeline. For example, click anywhere else on the timeline. Click here, just click here. Now you have just deselected the video, fine? This will be very essential when you're having many videos in the timeline, okay? Now, yes, sisters and brothers, I want you all to uh, try another thing, okay? 
come on pinch your fingers pinch two of your fingers pinch in your fingers to minimize this timeline to minimize and to maximize this timeline i want you all to pinch your fingers through this two fingers keep here and pinch pinch it in come on do it give it a try see here everything has been in in just this much time frame okay so 28 seconds is just uh, have been minimized into into the minimized time frame fine you can just enlarge it up just uh, just minimize this timeline and more fine if this uh, things are uh, getting complicated do not worry do not worry dear sisters and brothers this are everything easy uh, i'm just showing you from uh, everything from the scratch okay everything from the scratch so fine now i'm going to show you how you're going to merge two videos fine not only videos i'm also going to show you how you're going to merge two audios uh, merge two photos fine come on this is the first video that i have and along with this i want to merge another video with this okay so how to merge for example I'll, how to merge you have to just go onto the media okay on the media circle on to on the media circle go to this media and uh, come on, click on the media and just add any media that you want to merge on, fine? For example, if I want to add a video on the start of my timeline, okay? I want to add a video on the start here and I want to add a video on the end of the timeline, fine? I want one video to be attached at the first of, a first of this video, beginning of this video, and I want to add another video at the end of this video. How to do that? You just have to be present at that position with your timestamp, okay? You have to move your timestamp at the same position where you want to insert a new video. For example, I want to insert a video at the end of this, so I will move my timestamp to the end of it, okay? Hope you all are understanding it. Come on, move it to the end and add another video to it because this would be your homework, inshallah. I want you all to do this. Come on, this is the video that we have. I want to insert something at the end of this video. So let me see if you have some intros or extras. So okay, I have some uh, outro here. I'll just insert that at the end of it, okay? Okay, now I want to insert this video at the start also. How to insert this video at the start? Now I have to click on the timeline and I will move back to the first position. I'll go to the media, okay? I'll go to the media and what I will do is I'll just insert it at the start of the timeline. How to insert that? Again, you just have to insert, uh, go to the uh, brow uh, media browser and wherever you have it uh, in the whatever video you have in the gallery, you just put it at the start, that's all. Okay, Alhamdulillah. So this is it, dear sisters. Why is something black here? Can you please tell me, can you all guess why is something black here? Because the aspect ratio of the video that I have taken now, this video is 16 is to 9, okay? And the aspect ratio of this video is 1 is to 1, okay? And the aspect ratio of the video at the end is also 16 is to 9. So, dear sister, this video is showing the with the half screen because this aspect ratio was this much. And for the video that is here, it is of one is to one. Okay, you do not have to worry about everything, uh, everything uh, about the aspect ratio or something like that. You will get to know everything. Okay, how to adjust the screen, how to adjust this video with the correct aspect ratio. Okay, do not worry. I will explain to you everything in upcoming sessions. For now, bear bear with this much knowledge, inshallah. I want you all to grasp whatever I'm giving now, um, whatever knowledge I'm giving now. Okay, inshallah, Tala. So these are the three videos that I've inserted, dear sisters and brothers. Hope you all have understood how to insert the three videos, right? How to insert three videos or more videos if you want to insert 10 videos or something like that okay you can just insert it on the timeline for example why is this why is this thing used dear sisters can you all tell me why is this thing used why am i going to insert two to three videos if you want to if you want if you have five to six footages and you want to merge it all this is the way you can merge it okay to merge the videos you are going to insert it on the timeline, fine? So this thing that I'm teaching you is how to merge the videos or how to merge the photos into one, one video, okay? Now you're going to make a single video out of it, fine? You're going to make a single video out of all of this, fine? So from one second, zero seconds till 10 seconds, this has appeared. And from 10 seconds to the last part, till the till 13 seconds, 38 seconds is the next video. From the 39 seconds to the 49 seconds is the next video. Hope you have understood how we have, have just arranged it, fine? Uh, just a moment, I'll give, I'll make it a um, bit equal to the time frame. Uh, equate to the uh, pan zoom, I'll just do it. This will be explained to you later, dear sisters. We are, I'm not, I'm not just going to deal with this, please. Well, this is for the sake of just making it a, a look good, fine? I'll teach you everything later, fine? Do not worry about this. Okay. 
to one day. So these are the videos that I have your sisters and brothers. See how beautifully I have created the content, fine? This is the intro that I have. Then I have something, the video that my video has appeared after this. And then I have the outro video, fine? This is how you can just insert two to three videos in margin, okay? Now, how to export this video? How to export this and put it in your timeline and share it to the world to watch? You just have to click on the export button, okay? You're going to click on this export button, okay? I want you all to give it a try with your own uh, smartphones, your sisters and brothers. Insert three videos, three videos or four videos in your timeline. Click on the export and see how it will beautifully appear on your on your uh, gallery or something like media browser or something like that, fine? Come on, give it all a try. This is how you just have to export and there is something called as an export button and you just have to click on it and then save it okay there are so many options on the export button upload button the save as button and something more everything will be dealt uh in the uh, in the upcoming session or inshallah in today's session itself but remember some of the terms you just have to save as video okay you have to save it as a video fine save it as a video and then it will be saved in your gallery fine this everything about this will be shared in uh, um in this class or inshallah in upcoming session okay for now this is how you have to merge the videos or the uh photos fine this is the way you are going to merge the videos i'm going to show you some more things fine come on now i'm going to show you how you're going to merge the photos fine for example just a moment inshallah for example if you have five to ten images, okay, I'll just put put in all of these images. One image, two image. See how you're going to just insert it. Click on the images and it will be inserted on the timeline. That's all. Click on the images that will be inserted on the timeline. Okay, this would be your homework, dear sisters and brothers. Okay, practice how to merge and uh, uh, merge different videos. Fine. This will be your homework for tomorrow, inshallah. Just a moment. Okay. So these are the photos that I have inserted on the timeline. So let me just delete this uh, videos. Uh, for now, I'm just going to show you off with the photos. Let me delete those up. Okay, those videos are deleted. So this is how you have merged the photos. For example, if you have five to ten photos, fine, and you want to exhibit all of this five to ten photos in a in a form of a video, how to do this? Add all of the photos. So these are the different photos that you have. You just add all of these photos on the timeline and just just export this up. That's all. Okay, hope you all are understanding this. Okay, now there is something something missing here. What is it? See here, when I'm going to play this video, it appears like it comes suddenly inside the content, right? The next photo comes suddenly inside the video. See here, there is no, nothing called as a transition applied here. So what is a transition, dear sisters and brothers? Can you all please tell me what is a transition? Have you all gone through something, a word named as transition? Yes, it's nothing but changing from one state to another. But while changing, we are going to give it something, uh, something, uh, some effects. Okay, so we are going to give some transition effects. For if, when a photo is changing from one photo to another photo, we are just going to we are just going to try, try to give it a effects. Okay, so that is called as transition effects. Can you all see some uh, some rectangles here, squares here? Just please note the squares here. Come on, I want you all to insert your own photos on this uh, timeline. Come on, insert the photos on your timeline. I want you all to practice along with media sisters and brothers. Please insert your own photos on the timeline. Hope you all have inserted it, right? Okay. Now what you have to do is, uh, now when you play it and say it is nothing but, it is nothing but, what happens here is it plays like, uh, simply it's going to play without any transition effect, right? It's nothing but just, just changing the photos one after the another without any transition effect. Now, how to apply the transition is nothing but you have to just see these, these square things, okay? This is nothing but uh, it separates one photo from another photo. This is another photo. This is another photo. This is another photo. This is another photo that you have. So it is all separated with what, this one, this rectangles, okay? You all have to take a note about this because this is an important aspect of every video reading app, okay? So please take a note about it. Okay, alhamdulillah. So now to add the transitions, you just have to click on this button, fine? Click on this button. So when you click on this button, you will have several transitions, okay? Several transitions available on your uh, on your Kind Master applications. Come on, go, go for any of it. 
come on click on any of it for example presentation if you're going to present some photos for example if you're into the uh, into the abaya store or something like the dress a, a boutique if you have and if you're going to present the dresses that are there the modeling uh, things there that are there uh, the flyers that are there you just have to click uh, uh, put all of the photos on the timeline and just going to give it a presentation mode that's all go and just give it a presentation mode if you want to apply this to all of the transitions you can just apply it to all okay so this is how you have it for example if you want to apply something else the uncover thing the white thing you have you have so many features okay for example this is for the first video to the second video okay this transition was given for the first video to the second video now second photo to the third photo you just have to go to the another transition effect goes to transition let me see this one okay see this is how the trans it's transitions uh, it's actually moves it's uh it, it moves from one photo to the another photo the transition takes place so there is an effect applied to it so this is called the transition effect that you can apply in between the photos or it's also you can apply it in between the videos also come on give it all a try dear sisters and brothers it gives you a beautiful transition here Hope you all have seen some of the content like the oh, the uh, uh, flyers are moving and with the beautiful transition they actually move. So I want you all to try try every transition out. Okay, come on, keep trying. Okay, one more aspect that I want to share with you all here is probably you are new to the kind master and you do not have much of the effects here. Okay, probably you are all having only till the classic transitions. Uh, you all will be having only these many transitions okay so how to download more of the transitions okay how to get more of the transitions what you all have to do is you have to download this transitions okay how to download the transitions come on uh, there is a store here okay there is a store here just click on that store come on click on that store hope you all are doing along with me i want you all to just uh do it along with me fine come on click on the store here you have to click on the store and download the transitions that there that are there. Fine. So I'll just show you how we are going to do it. Click on this. Come on, click on the store. This wave appears there. Just wait for a second. You will have hundreds of transitions available on the asset play store and this requires the internet connectivity okay one interesting feature about the kind master dear sisters and brothers is that kind master does not require the internet connection so you can just switch off the internet connections to make your task easy okay because in the kind master everything gets saved on your cell phone itself i mean everything gets saved on your uh on your uh on your gal on your media storage okay and your media storage fine so i want you all to just uh, look into the beautiful transitions and download them come on download the beautiful transitions that are available there fine there is a prism glitch there is a spin blur there's a light blur there is a transition these are just the kb they are they are in kilobytes okay please download it all fine download it all because these transitions that are here are very very effective just see here how beautiful they look for example hit and break so in between the two photos you can apply all of these transitions fine the fun transition see here and also one important aspect your sisters and brothers come on one important thing i want to tell you all this there is some thing called as a seconds okay how, how much how how many seconds you want to delay it for okay you can just give it a 2.5 seconds if you're going towards this side then it will be a slow motion slow transition okay and if on this side then it is a faster transition come on move it with your fingers everything is with your fingers now okay dear sisters and brothers you can just take a hold on this application with your fingers now see how beautiful this transitions look i have I applied different transitions see here how beautifully it has transited from the first photo to the another photo with a transition effect so this is how they create the presentation slides presentation videos and more fine on this is how you can just make a beautiful presentation video fine see here you just have to apply various presentation uh, transition effects fine come on so this is for the photo transitions how to apply the video transitions this is nothing but you're going to take some videos and apply some transitions to it that's all for example how did i show you with the video transition this is the first video this is the third video this is the second video what you have to do you have to put it all onto the timeline and you all have to 
uh, you have to just export it up. For example, if this was a something a business a kind of uh, thing that you had, this is a business promo video. For example, I was creating, and I wanted to share all of this uh, flyers together in one video, and I wanted to share it with my friend. What I'll do is I'll just put it all inside one video and put some beautiful transition, and just just I'll keep, click on the upload button. I click on the button named as save and export button okay you just have to click on that button and a beautiful video will be created okay so you can just do it uh, uh, try it out with your own photos and see whether you all can just make a beautiful transitions out of it okay so there are very beautiful transitions just sisters and brothers you just give it a try now in your own smartphones fine so this is an export button okay so I'm going to explain to you what are some of the features on the export button because this is very important, dear sisters and brothers, fine? The export button, the features on the export buttons are very important because the kind master app, uh, should gives you something, gives you some uh, some, uh, some the settings that are very important for the, for the applications to have, fine? So for any video to have, you are having the first, a uh, first thing called as resolution, okay? There is a resolution, there is a frame rate and there is a bit rate, fine? So what is the resolution, dear sisters and brothers? Hope you all have to, uh, learned, uh, uh, went through or gone through some uh, this term named as resolution. Okay, what does this mean? It is the definition of the video. How how, how beautiful that video is, whether it is in the uh, fully high definition high definition video or it is just the HD video or it is a SD video and more. Uh, kind master offers you even the 320 pixel video and also 360 pixel video and also 480 pixel video. Just move through this. You will be having so many res resolutions here, okay? FHD and also the 4K. Kind master also offers you the 4K videos, okay? Why is this resolution used? It is nothing but the screen resolution. This depends upon the smartphones that you have, okay? For my for my uh, smartphone, the my tablet, it is... 1080 pixels okay it's 1080 pixels only but probably in few of your smartphones you are having 4k also please just check it out you will be having it in some smartphone you will have 4k also in so some smartphones you don't you won't be having fsd also it's totally based on your compatibility of your own cell phones okay so this is the resolution matlab it is the uh, it is the uh, it is the screen rate it is the definition high definition videos or just the small, small definition videos or the or, or the 320 pixel videos that you're going to export okay for this i want to tell you all you just have to keep it to okay you just have to keep it more than more than 480 pixels okay more than 480 pixels because for now every youtube video or something like that will have the 720 definition videos fine so i want you all to export it uh, with the uh, with more than 480 pixels okay 360 pixels is very low rate fine it's very really low rated videos it is the start it's the beginning it, it won't it won't have a great quality fine so i just want you all to move through this and just see if you have hd or the full hd you, you can you can select even the FHD also, but it, it's totally based on the space left off on your cell phone. Okay, uh, if you if you have if you select the high definition videos, more high definition videos, then you will be having the more storage, um, more file size. The higher the higher the resolution, higher the file size. Okay, higher the video size. Whenever you are exporting the video, uh, the size of the video will be high. So so this is the resolution that you have. Then you have something called the frame rate. Okay, for your curiosity, I'm just going to explain to you what are the frames or something like that. Dear sisters and brothers, please concentrate for a moment. Can you all tell me what is a video? You know what is a video? Video is nothing but it is the collection of photos. Okay. But for example, on your smartphone, you are just capturing a video. What you are actually doing is you are capturing the photos. You are capturing the photos, n number of photos in just one millisecond. And that is converted into a video. Okay. This is just for your curiosity. Please do not uh, do not worry if you are not understanding it. Uh, for example, what happens is for currently, currently, dear sisters and brothers, if you if you just captured a video for one second, okay, if you are just capturing a video for one second, it is nothing but you have captured thirty photos in it, okay, minimal thirty photos in it. So that is the frame rate. That is called as a frame rate. If it is 
30 photos per second, then that is called as a frame rate, 30 photos per second. Usually, usually you all will be capturing 30 photos per second when you're going to take a video, okay? You can just go to the video and see the video information, okay? So this is just for your curiosity, okay? If you are very curious to know how the frame rates is and everything, you just go to the video and check the details of any video that you have on your gallery. They will tell you how many FPS the video is in. FPS means frames per second, okay? It's just for your curiosity please do not worry i'm giving you the extra knowledge so that you can remember this this is nothing but the frame rates this is 50 frames per this is nothing but 50 photos per second you have captured 50 photos per second or it is 60 photos per second okay how this frame rate you have to select more than 30 okay 30 fps remember you are going to apply it as a 30 fps more than 30 fps every time fine if you're going to go with a something down than this then it is nothing but it, your photo quality will be lesser okay your video quality will be lesser fine so let it be 30 for now and there is a something called as a bits rate when you're going to upload this content then how many and how many megabytes per second this video should be uploaded okay so this video that you are going to export in how many megabytes per second it should be exported this is nothing but the bit rate fine that is nothing but the bit rate i'm just telling you all of this for your curiosity do not worry you do not have to remember your mbps or something like that but you have to remember something called as a kiss tara mera video high quality how can i generate a higher quality content how to generate a higher quality video is nothing but you have to have greater resolution and greater frame rate and greater bit rate okay if you are just going to apply higher bit rate, then your video size will be higher. So what we do is we keep it at the center, okay? Keep it at the center, that is fine, okay? This will be 9.27 MB per second. This is fine for it. If you're just going to make it more, then your video size will increase, fine? So this is an important aspect that we are going to teach you at the start itself because you're going to export the contents from now on and you're going to share it with me, fine? With the with the homeworks, you are, you will be having this task. Then what you have to do if you have just created the content, you just have to save it as a video. And then when you click on the save as video, that will be saved within the seconds and it will be exported to your gallery. Okay, it will be present in your gallery within a moment. Fine. So this is how you have to do it. Fine. Uh, because it's taking the network as well, so probably it's taking time. It will just take your one minute, dear sisters and brothers. Fine. Whatever the video you are creating, it based on the duration as well as the uh what we say the high definition or the resolutions that you're selecting you will be having the time uh you will be having the much time based on that time duration is based on that okay so in today's class what we have learned is how to merge the photos okay uh, soon after the class i'm going to share with you the homework and you have to send to me all of the uh all of the contents that we have done in the class as well as whatever i'm give, going to give you as the homework inshallah you just have to share me back fine i'll, I'll tell you how we're going to just um uh, do the homework after the class inshallah at the end of the class inshallah so today we have learned how to merge the photos how to merge the videos right why will this be useful dear sisters and brothers it is nothing but where can this merging be used where can this merging be used you know all of the video industry is nothing but merging Correct? All the video industry is nothing but merging the two to three contents, merging it here, merging it there, and uh, uh, and putting it, putting this uh, on the right, putting this on the left, or something like that, right? Video, for example, what do the uh, what do the Bollywood footages uh, look like? It is nothing but they they capture the footages on various locations. What they do is they take the content and put it in the timeline and they merge it. Okay, so this is where the merging of videos is used okay in every day class i'm going to teach you some or some of the techniques and also i'll be teaching you where and how this content will be used how this technique will be used for now just bear with me this much is enough for today this much is enough for you to grasp uh grasp now okay so how to merge the content how to merge the videos and how to add the transitions to it fine so i want you all to just give me uh just give me the content the homework tomorrow with a beautiful transitions applied on it and also i have taught you how to apply the different transitions and how to download the different transitions right dear sisters and brothers okay so you have learned so much in today's class inshallah so for tomorrow's class we will be seeing most more of the topics in tomorrow's class inshallah so come on boom the chat box with your messages i want you all to just Put in whatever we have discussed in today's class in the chat box so that we'll just give a quick lesson recap, inshallah. Come on, bismillah rahman. Boom the chat box with your messages. A quick lesson recap. Okay, I was not able to ch check the chat box, inshallah. I'll just check it and uh, if you have any doubts, you can just uh, let me know. 
if the thumbnail is not appearing beside the timeline, do not worry. That's not required. I'll show you something called as a capture the frame and then insert it as a thumbnail. Okay. 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 Alhamdulillah. So this was it. Okay. Come on. I want you all to just give me a quick lesson recap, whatever we had studied in today's session. Bismillah. The first thing, yes, dear sister, alhamdulillah, I just got a chat message. Yes, yes. In today's class, we had learned how to merge the videos and photos and how to apply the different transitions. And also, very majorly, we have learned about the different video qualities, okay? This knowledge that I gave about the video qualities, this is very important when you are going to into the advanced level. For example, you are just going into the career of the video editing. You have to select a beautiful video and you have to just uh, give, uh, give a beautiful quality video, right? High quality content, you have to provide them, right? provide your customers with provide your uh, clients with so you just have to have a beautiful and a high definition videos so how to create that i have told you in the class right so alhamdulillah we have learned about the inserting videos and images merging of the videos and transitions also dear sisters and brothers right and one more important thing that we had learned was how to download it from the uh, uh marketplace right how to download it from the marketplace yes Yes, Alhamdulillah. Today's class was easy. That's great. Alhamdulillah. Now I'm just going to give you a quick lesson recap. Have you all just not gone through this thing? Yes, right. We also have discussed this one. What is it? The editing interface. Can you all just tell me what about the editing interface that we had discussed? First thing we discussed was the timeline. Where is the timeline located, dear sisters and brothers? At the bottom. Yes. What does the timeline consist of? It has a timestamp, a red line that is very important because it will show you the second and wherever the position of your uh, uh, timeline is, wherever you are in, wherever you are in, right? It shows the wherever the position you are in. And then you have something called a media circle on the type top right. And there is left, there is a control bar and there is a video window at the at the center or something, uh, something like that, right? So just see here, I have just shared, shared some of the screens with you. So come on, you can just uh, take a quick screenshot about it if you just want to make a note about it, okay? So this is a timeline, this is a timestamp, and then we have seen something like the media circle. And from where are you going to import the media from? Where are you going to get the photos from? Where are you going to get photos and the videos from? From the media circle, and there is something called as media. Everything else will be discussed in tomorrow's class, okay? Do not worry. We are going one by one. We are going into one by one. You have to have a little bit of patience, dear sisters and brothers, okay? Please have a little bit of patience. Inshallah, you will be learning so much in the next 16 days, fine? So for now, this this knowledge that I provided, that, that, that is very important, fine? The export thing, the how to... How how to have a greater quality content and more and also the parts of any of the video editing software fine and then we have something called as a base layer okay this this you have to remember fine whatever you are going to insert on the timeline there is first thing that is here this is called as an imported imported media and it's also called as a base layer we are going to discuss about layers in upcoming sessions okay so you have to have at least this much basic knowledge fine there is something called as a control bar on the left side and there is something called as a video window here and it has a play button there and that's fine this was a quick lesson recap that i just wanted to give you all okay alhamdulillah so i want to, this is a homework for you all take a quick snapshot or inshallah i'll send it after the class so this is what you all have to do practice how to merge two or more different media okay can you all please tell me what is media what are the forms of media media kitne forms mein ho sakta hai? which are the forms of a media Yes, video format, audio format. Yes, very good. Yes, Alhamdulillah. The photo format, even the audio format, yes, sisters and brothers. Okay, media is a photo format, video format, and the audio format. Okay, so that is it. That that's about the media. So uh, here you have to try it out with the different media, but the different photos and the different videos. So so in today's class we have learned how to uh, merge two photos two videos and multiple photos and multiple videos and more. Inshallah, in the next upcoming sessions, you are going to learn how we are going to merge the audios and more, okay? So bear with me, inshallah. You have to be a little bit patient while you are going through these applications. For now, you have to absorb this concept and you have to have a how you have to learn in today's class to add different transitions, okay? Try it out with different transitions and more. You know, this 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 thing that, uh, that you have just learned, it is very useful when you are having some stores uh, and you have multiple photos of it and you are going to 
exhibit multiple videos of it or something like that. You just have to apply the transitions and exhibit it out, okay? So you, uh, this was the class for today, alhamdulillah. So I want you all to just boom with uh, the chat box with your doubts. If you have any doubts, come on, type the uh, type it in the chat box. Inshallah, I'll just take your doubts. Come on, dear sisters and brothers, if you have any doubts, please type in the chat box. No doubts? Okay, alhamdulillah. Probably, yes, we are almost time for the class. We will, uh, if you have any doubts, you can just ping me, okay? I'll help you out there, fine? So this was the class for today. Take care of yourself. Inshallah, we will see in tomorrow's class. Yes, we'll see more of the concepts in tomorrow's class. Alhamdulillah, dear sisters and brothers. I want you all to be present in the next session because, because we are going to learn so many, so much things in tomorrow's session, inshallah. So with this zeal to learn more, with this interest to learn more, let's end the session with the zeal to attend the next session for the sake of Allah. Okay, let's end the session. Jazakumullah khairan dear sisters and brothers. Barakallahu fiki. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashadu Allah ilaha illa anta astaghfirka wa atubu ilayka. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.